Hello, I'm Leslie Altman from New South Wales, Australia. I'm a digital learning mentor, Google certified trainer and innovator, GEG leader and co-founder of Global GEG. In this video, I'm going to answer what are rubrics and how can they help me? Which relates to planning and prep and assessment in Google Classroom. Well, a rubric is an excellent tool that provides a structure for teachers, students and parents by defining expectations. And it also provides a platform for feedback and self-reflection. I'm going to share three strategies that you can implement so that rubrics become a great learning tool to help you, one, help students and parents define what quality of work is to be expected, and two, develop self-regulated students so they can accept more responsibility for the end product. And three, cut down on time-consuming tasks of creating rubrics. So the first tip to set up your rubric is to clearly define the criteria, the performance, the rating scale, and the performance indicators so that the teachers and students and their parents have an understanding of the learning target and criteria for success. You can see how easily it is to sort the rubric by ascending or descending scale and add your criteria that's related to the learning outcome. You can add your performance levels, firstly as points. Now this depends on your school's criteria and the points could range from four to one or one to four. And then add your descriptors and I've added extensive, thorough and sound. And then add the description of the level of performance that matches each criterion. The second tip is to encourage students to view rubrics as a tool to help them focus on their learning. And students need to understand what the desired performance is and what it looks like and how they can enhance their own performance. Now this is a student's view and you can see how easily it is for them to access the rubric right inside the assignment simply by clicking this down arrow to expand the window to reveal the rubric. And here they can see the points and the explanations. Now, students can use the rubric to help them refine their work. So they attempt the work, they submit their draft, they receive feedback from the teacher, then they can revise and practice their skill and resubmit again. Now this cycle of revise and refine may continue a number of times before submitting for a final grade. So this process allows students to follow a more cohesive path to their learning and rather than repeating similar assignments with related criteria. The third tip is to help you build a better workflow in your Google Classroom by exporting your rubric to Sheets and it saves inside your drive, inside the Classroom folder, and it's easily accessible by Google Classroom. You can also import your rubric from that folder inside your Google Drive. You can reuse a rubric that you have used in the past for a similar assignment. And by clicking on that option, you can see all of the rubrics created inside this class. Remember to develop good habits when naming your files and it'll help you to locate them more easily. Only rubrics that have been created inside a Google Classroom should be used and don't try and edit this sheet. Remember to develop good habits when naming your files and it'll help you to locate them more easily. Now we know why rubrics are important and how you can use them as a learning tool to help students and parents define what the quality of work is to be expected and to develop self-regulated students so that they accept more responsibility for the end product and also to cut down the time consuming tasks of creating rubrics. Don't forget to watch the other videos in the Google Classroom series and thanks for watching.